lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be discussing the major themes of the poem An African Tender Storm by David Robert Dewey. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. An African Tender Storm is a poem written by David Robert Dewey. This poem captures the insecurity, disorder, and havoc wrecked on the people's life as a result of the tender storm. The poet uses powerful words to convey the mayhem, disorder, ruthlessness, and carnage caused by an African tender storm. Some of the major themes in this poem include the following. The invasion and colonization of the African continent. The tender storm in this poem stands for the invasion and colonization of the African continent by the Europeans. Just as the events in the poem happened so swiftly or quickly, so were Africans caught off guard by the sudden invasion and domination of the Europeans, which eventually created disorder in the African continent. The storm is symbolic to the arrival of the Europeans, who came from the West and without wasting much time, planted themselves firmly into the lands of Africa, they colonized Africans very quickly, which caused a great upheaval in the lives of the Africans. The trees in the poem are symbolic to the local people or are symbolic to the Africans who could not resist the invasion of the colonialists. They had to bow down or submit to their power. Just as the storm exposed the breasts of the women in the poem, it is the same way the Europeans stripped Africans of their dignity and identity. Thus, their flags, which should be a symbol of unity, hope, and dignity, is described as started flag, leaving nothing to be desired of it. The poet ends the poem with the images of tender and lightning, which are symbolic to the gunfires and battles which came with the coming of the Europeans. The Power of Nature The poem presents a struggle between man and nature, Nature is however presented as a more superior force, capable of causing insecurity, disorder, destruction, mayhem, and carnage on man. The swiftness of the storm, coupled with its irresistible force, leaves readers with no other option than to sympathize with the people affected by the storm. The wind is described as a mighty force, it is irresistible and unpredictable in its direction. Hence, readers sympathize with a village which seems to be vulnerable to the storm. Happiness in the midst of adversity One thing that makes this point stand out is that all is not gloomy in the poem. The children, with all their innocence, seems not to be bothered about the impending danger of the storm, unlike their mothers. In spite of the destructive force of the wind, the noisy events, and the impending destruction that awaits the village in case the storm should come. The children in the village are very delighted as their screams can be heard loud and clear. What it simply means is that there is nothing totally bad or good. Our reaction to things makes them good or bad. Whilst your mother chose to be frightened by the storm, the children chose to be happy and possibly using the wind of the storm to their advantage. The various roles played by Africans in the exploitation of the African continent. One thing that a poet seeks to present in his poem, An African Tender Storm, is the fact that the Europeans cannot be entirely blamed or solely blamed for the exploitation of the African continent. Some Africans also supported them as they either contributed in the process or benefited from it. The trees in the poem comes to represent all the Africans who did not want to incur the wrath or displeasure of the colonial masters and thus unwillingly obeyed or stayed away from the colonialists to give them space to exploit the African continent. Most importantly, the children in the poem represents all those who supported and collaborated with the Europeans to plunder Africa. Lastly, the theme of poverty. A closer look at the inhabitants of the village, depicted in the poem, reveals the abject poverty in the African continent, especially in rural areas. 
The wind carries the clothing of the women, as if that is not enough. It exposes their dangling breasts to the common gaze. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.